Die Beautiful is directed by June Lana, written by Roddy Vera, and stars Paolo Balesteros, Christian Bables, Gladys Reyes, and Joel Torre. And Die Beautiful starts at the end. Trisha Echevarria, played by Paolo Balesteros, has just passed away and her best friend Barbs, played by Christian Bables, is taking care of her wake. The film then flashes back to different points in Trisha's life and we have our movie. Now I know what you're thinking, why am I only reviewing Die Beautiful now? Well, simply because I never got to see it during the Metro Manila Film Festival, but thankfully it's still showing. One day I just sort of thought to myself, wait, why haven't I watched Die Beautiful yet? So I went out to see it. And what I will say about Die Beautiful is that it is gorgeous to look at in more ways than one. It has some mind-blowing performances from both Paolo Balesteros and Christian Bables, but its storytelling just is not the most refined in my opinion. First things first, for a movie called Die Beautiful, thankfully this movie does look beautiful. Every costume in this film feels meticulously crafted. The makeup is terrific as expected from someone like Paolo Balesteros who made it big because of his makeup work. Um, and surprisingly, none of the sets in the movie feel fake. You know, there are a lot of movies, local movies, where there are beauty conventions and it just really feels like they put up a stage in the middle of nowhere and had a bunch of extras surround the stage. Here, these sets really feel like they could be on television. And they do a really cool thing with the cinematography in this film where they change the colors and the quality for the different time periods that you visit in this movie. So you know which time period you're at just by looking at the screen. It doesn't force feed the audience any information. And it is worth noting just how remarkably clean the sound mix is in this film. You know, no matter where they're shooting in the movie, you can hear everything they're saying and not once do they feel like any of the background noise was interrupting any of the dialogue or how the scene was going. There is good music in the film as well, but where the film really shines in terms of sound is when it has these long silences throughout these scenes where you really feel just the emotion on screen and I thought they used uh, the silences really well and they held back on you know putting in like more comedic music and whatnot. But thankfully Die Beautiful is not just a pretty face, pun intended. Uh, it's thanks to June Lana, the director, that this movie just has such a huge heart. The comedy really works in this film because it doesn't rely on slapstick like most local depictions of LGBT characters. Like it really uh, relies on them as characters. And the drama in this film is tremendously affecting. There are some really intense, hard to watch moments in this movie that really sting emotionally, but they're never excessive. And what's so great about Junlana's direction is that it's restrained, it's respectful, and completely resists any extravagance that is so often associated with local depictions of gay and lesbian characters. And we have to talk about the acting in this movie. That is the best part of this film, hands down. Paolo Balesteros in this movie is completely deserving of every single single accolade he's ever received. I just saw Trisha the entire time. I completely believed he was this character and even when he was playing Trisha uh, at earlier stages, uh, pre-operation, I still believed he was Trisha. You know, I just saw this character through and through and I bought him uh, emotionally. He just had such nuance in his performance. And Christian Bables as uh, Barbs was just as incredible. While obviously he didn't have as much screen time as Paolo Balesteros, just his depiction of this best friend who just has this unwavering strength about her and real determination even when she's by herself and she's like just with uh, uh, the body of Trisha, like you just feel their friendship. There are a lot of supporting actors here as well who do great work, especially Joel Torre who is great at being intense, and Luis Alandi who has this one emotional scene that'll really hit you. And in terms of writing, it's just so refreshing to have two full-bodied LGBT characters for once in a Filipino film. Like after this movie, after Bakabukas, this industry has no more excuse to write really thin, uh, uh, just pure comedy LGBT characters. We can do much better than that. And the editing in this movie is clever in that there are quite a few moments uh, where when we move from one time period to another it's done really seamlessly and again like what the editing does right is that when it moves from one time period to another it never breaks momentum you never uh, lose track of where you are however my issue with the editing in Die Beautiful is that it does tend to linger a bit too often this movie ultimately feels way too long in my opinion and I think they could have afforded to cut more scenes. But the real reason why Die Beautiful feels long is that it tries to tell too many stories in my opinion. It's a character study but the events that were shown in Trisha's life feel like underdeveloped parts of the quote-unquote LGBT experience. So 
you know, they don't really feel essential to the overarching story. I think Die Beautiful would have been a lot better if it was like a limited TV series if we had such a thing in this country. And the movie does have shallow tertiary characters, especially Joel Torres' character who is really just pure evil and it's never explained why he is the way he is. But in the end, I will still say that Die Beautiful is a pretty good movie. And even if I didn't think it was great, like some people, I'm just so glad this movie exists because of how much our industry needs something like this. All right, so those are my thoughts on Die Beautiful. If you guys have seen it, please tell me what you thought about it. And whether you agree with me or not, please leave me a comment. Let's have a conversation.